What's up guys, it's Alec Mag 111 and it is time once again for a sale video. You guys did awesome last time. I sold like 50 packages while I was on vacation in South Carolina, so you guys are loving this. Some of this stuff is going to fly pretty quickly. Um, but before we get into that, if you guessed on last week's video, $1,350, you won, so I will send you a free patch or sticker, either one you choose. Um, I did sell a lot of stuff in that other video, but then I bought two entire collections and then I bought some stuff off eBay. So it is once again time to downsize. I am thinking about doing this potentially once a month. 50 of you, it's like 50 or 60 of you guys bought some stuff from me last time. So I think you guys like this and I know some of you guys were messaging me like, hey, it's fun to see those videos just to see what all you have and kind of stuff that you don't get. Because there are stuff that I, things that I buy that I don't always get in the unboxing videos because I have so much stuff coming in and out all the time. Um, but without further ado, let's start into it. So first thing, accessories. Accessories, I'm gonna list them all here. We're gonna have pictures of accessories. I have so many accessories. Next thing we're going to do is going to be vests. So I'm gonna throw the vests up there in a picture. And then finally, we'll do magazines. So I'll have high caps and mids. They're, you'll kind of be able to tell. I will list everything below in the description. Go to the description. I mark everything that is sold. As soon as I sell it, I go back to the description. You guys did really well on that last time, so I'm sure you guys will do fine. I'm sorry, baby. I mean, do you like that? Why'd you fall? Why'd you run away? It's all right. We good. Which one is airsoft? Which one is real? You decide. Like I said, stickers and patches are available. So if you buy anything over $100 from me, I will send you a free sticker. And if you buy anything over $500, I will send you a patch and a sticker in any of this video. Also, you can buy these separately from me if you want. Just message me on Instagram, hop up or anything. But let's start with Polar Stars. All right, before we go any farther, I am officially doing the first ever Alec Mac 111 mystery box. I have thought about this for a long time. You guys have seen me buy mystery boxes. I am going to be doing my very own Alec Mac 111 mystery box. So what is going to happen? These are going to be $120. It cost me $20, $25 to ship these large priority mail flat rate boxes. And so you, I'm going to fill this entire box with something that's worth at least double, maybe triple. And if you do well, could be even more than that of what you pay for it. So there will be at the minimum $240 of value in one of these boxes. Some of them can be more. Some of them might be like a little bit less. But for the most part, they're going to be all over. This can include anything. I have been able to fit an entire Polar Star in here, a regulator, a tank. These things can fit literally anything, you'd be surprised. So I will have probably every package will include at least one gun, maybe two. They will include something like a red dot or a T1 or a holographic sight. They will include some pouches. They will include some accessories like foregrips or um, different things. And I'm either going to do 10 or 20 of these. I haven't completely decided, it depends on what I have. But I am gonna do that and then if you guys do an unboxing video of them, I'm gonna try and watch every single one of them that I send and see your guys' reactions. Cause I think it'd be really cool to give back to you guys in a way. I do giveaways with the patches and stuff like that. But I think it'd be really cool for me to be able to do this. And so if it does well, we'll do more of them. If it doesn't do well and you guys are like, eh, that's kind of okay, I'll stick to the e-bike ones. Um, just let me know, but let's get into the next part of the video. We're starting out with that Mad Heat. You guys know I love Polar Stars. Anything HPA is a fun time. First up is a G&G SR16. This is one of the nicer ones. It's like the Knight's Armament trades there. It's a little bit nicer than the other ones. This has a jack inside it. It also has a pro in hop-up unit, an upgraded bucking, and I think the barrel is stock. Um, but it is no, actually no I believe it's a little bit it's an angel custom barrel but it's a little bit shorter than it could be and then it also has a speed trigger this when I got it was set for like 60 rps Jared came in laughed at it because the dp was also like 70 or it was like crazy high so Jared fixed it tuned it a little bit so it'll be perfect for you when you get it polar star number two this is a polar star pr 15 you guys know this one just from the most recent videos that I've done I have my own polar star sitting right here and so I do not have a need for more than one polar star um, but this thing is awesome this gun shoots so far it's got a barrel all the way to end of here Daniel defense mark 18 rail you got an AFG it's got a T1 that will come with it. Um, it's got this PTS grip on as well, this PTS ergo grip. It's got an extended line, just in case if you want to kind of have it as a DMR, basically if you're laying down, it's a little bit easier. Mad Bull A stock, always upgraded internals. This is a fusion engine. Fusion engines are by far the best engine HPA wise out there. You can just do so much with it. Um, this thing is awesome. This was the guy's workhorse. This is the one he used a lot, but it is still in awesome condition. And it shoots so, 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 so far with that incredible barrel. I believe it is flat hopped as well. It does have an upgraded bucking, but it's a laser beam. 
Up next is Polar Star number three. This one is also absolutely beautiful. I am really debating, if, if somebody doesn't pay me what I want for this, I'm really debating switching and keeping this and getting rid of this other one and then decking this out a little bit. I love GMP. That's what a lot of stuff that I do, a lot of Polar Star builds I've had. And so this is an SAI GRY with the whole sweet rail system, compensator, war comp, flash brake, whatever they call this awesome thing in the front. Um, it has a super cool stock on there. It's really nice grip and the, uh, the controls are super nice. It does have a speed trigger. Obviously you got a polar star, you need to have a speed trigger or at least tune your trigger. This thing is tuned super, super quick. Um, it's got a polar star or a pro and hop up in there. Fusion engine, obviously they're the best ones. Not the jacks and other ones aren't really good, but the fusion engine you can just do so much more with because it's one way bigger and two, they're just so customizable. But this gun is so beautiful. So if you don't give me what I want for this, that's okay, I'll just keep it and maybe run it myself because I love it, but I just, I don't know. I don't know what, like, I love this Polar Star so much too, so I don't, I feel like it's just cheating on it, but I'm a loyal dude, what can I say? All right, up next we have that HPA Sniper Rifle, the Wolverine Bolt Reaper system that's in this. I was really seriously considering sniping, but you guys know my playstyle is way too aggressive for sniping. Also, I don't know how I'd put a camera on here. I do not have any sort of rail, and so this thing is up for sale. I would love to snipe, and if I do, I'd probably get one of the Nobert snipe rifles because I've had one before and I really liked it. Um, it does have a sat hive suppressor. The barrel goes all the way to uh, right here. This is a Tokyo Marie VSR-10. This is the shorter version, and then it also has the, obviously the barrel length there, so it's about the same as like a normal VSR-10. Got a really nice rubber coating on here, super nice matrix scope. Um, obviously the HPA engine. It does come with four magazines. I have four magazines as well. These are the Action Army mags, and they're really nice. Um, you can, these are like double stacks, so you can hold, I think like 60 or 70 rounds with one of these, or maybe it's like 50, but it is a lot of rounds that you can hold as opposed to the normal VSR single stack magazines. Um, it does come with a Magpul sling as well, um, and then this has a little bit bigger bolt. I don't actually know what brand this is, but this bolt is a little bit more maneuverable. Um, this sling is really nice. If you don't know the MS2s, um, these are like one of the nicest slings on the market. You kind of do whatever you want with it. And then it has a UGG sling rise there. And then obviously this point back there in the front. And this thing shoots laser beams. I was shooting like 350 feet out on it. I have it tuned to 1.97 joules right now. Um, that's what the field that uh, the guy that was potentially going to buy it from me was allowed to use. And it is a beautiful, beautiful gun. All Action Army internals. The barrel, I believe, is... PDI, but it is all upgraded and it is a absolute beautiful gun. I just don't snipe enough to use it. And all the fields in Ohio that I play at are all 400 FPS and under. So it's really, really hard for me to get anything that can actually push out the distance. With sniper rifles, you need to be running like 550 with the two because you're shooting fours. So it's unfortunate. I will have an entire bag of 0.4 gram BBs that are included with this as well. They're the Novridge 0.4s. All right, up next, we got an ASG Bren. This thing is awesome. This is one of the CZ 805 Brens. It's a really nice AEG. Um, obviously, it is uh, licensed OEM by ASG, and they have really nice guns. I believe this has like a MOSFET system. This is a pretty high-end gun um, external-wise. It did have a little bit of a crack and fall oopsie there, so I fixed it with a tough one grip and then a little bit of glue. So it is fine, but it will be discounted a little bit compared to what they will otherwise come with. Um, all of the ma all the guns will come with uh, like a high standard high cap for those of you that buy them, but I just have the GMP mids to show because they're sweet. All right, up next we have an EMG Warthog. These things are actually awesome. I have a Fortis shift grip on here. This is a full metal body, full metal everything. Um, these guns have pretty nice internals as well. They do come with a Noveski amplifier, and the gun shoots well. Um, you can't really ask for anything more. These are pretty... They're a price pretty well for metal guns that have good internals. They're like a medium to the higher end as far as the build goes. And then internally, they have pretty nice setups as well. Up next, the first KWA of the group. This is a KWA SR7. These are awesome little guns. These used to be like one of the best guns around. And KWA still makes really solid stuff. But other brands have definitely caught up time-wise as far as like BFC, GMP, and all those go. KWA hasn't done a whole lot to change, to be honest. But they do have really nice setups. And this has a kind of cool spray paint job on it. And it shoots well. It is a little bit older um, used. But these guns go for pretty good. And they're pretty cheap compared to other higher-end guns. And I'd say they have the performance definitely to match it. Up next, KWA number two. This is a KWA SR10, the little bit older brother um, in between. This is like the middle child with between the SR7 and SR12. Um, this gun is definitely older. It is works pretty well. Um, it is a little bit older, like I said, and definitely shows some more. This is probably the most worn gun out of what I'm selling. 
um, but it still functions fine and shoots really well. Kitty bays with their little V hop ups, I mean, you have to replace them here and there like any bucking, but they shoot really, really well. And that like double pressure is much better than single pressure because it just provides really consistent backspin. If it's set up right, if you don't set it up right and something's a little bit off, it can kind of mess the gun up. But it has a tango down grip, it, normal everything else. This is like the aim point T2 or comp two. This is aim point comp something. I don't know aim point sights that much. And then a vertical down or the tango down vertical foregrip. Up next, we have an Elite Force MCR for sale. This one is pretty much brand new. Uh, it literally looks like it hasn't been worn hardly at all. Um, it is a polymer body, but it does have a metal rail system, and it has some of the Ares Amoeba externals as well. So it's like a kind of a budget version of the uh, Warthogs. But this gun is awesome. It is very affordable price-wise. We're starting to move into a little bit of the lower-end AEGs. Um, this is just a great starter gun if you want to buy something out the gate for if you're newer or if you just want a gun that's light and you can run around and play with or use this as a backup gun or give this for your girl for the two girls that play airsoft every weekend. Up next is another budget gun before we get into the pistols. This is really nice. This is one of the Avengers M4s. These are like $150 retail, I think. Um, this thing is awesome. These shoot so, so, so well. They do have like a super snappy trigger for a cheap gun. Literally, Jared says these are the best starter guns for around 100 bucks. He said throw in an ASG boost motor in there and then run it until it breaks. And you're going to be shooting like 25 rounds a second on full auto with an 11.1. And these can handle it because they have a pretty nice micro switch and a MOSFET system in it as well. And a rotary style hop up. Really good setup. Hey, Dad, what's up? You're on YouTube. Huh? I'm making a video. Are you serious? Yeah, what's up? Hey, uh... All right, up next we have a G&G combat machine. Obviously, there's not a whole lot to be said about these. They're combat machines. One of the best starter guns on the market for the price. They last. They shoot well. They have the best, some of the best, the, probably the best stock bucking around. Um, this one has a Mad Bull sticker and an Alec Mac 101 sticker. So, bonus value, question mark? Combat machine number two. If you want to be like Novrich and shoot people from 8,000 feet away, go with this gun. It is semi and full auto. So it's not really bolt action or anything for you snipers. It does come with a Falcon red dot and has this basic bipod on here. Like I said, if you want to just lay down and be a camper, like most of the people on Modern Warfare right now. And then once again, Alec Mac 101 sticker added value. Up next is a G36. This is one of the Elite Force cheaper versions. It does come with a high cap. The Flash Hider orange tip has tried to be taken off, but it hasn't. I have not been able to get it. And then it is missing the body pin. But other than that, the gun works great. It is in pretty good shape. Um, but these are pretty cheap and if you want like a budget HK G36 to get into these are nice um, It does feel really good externally. I felt some G36 that feel really bad So this one does feel pretty solid externally. However internally I'm not hundred percent sure what they are running, but they are a pretty cheap version and I believe this is OEM by actually not sure who it's OEM by it's secondly a Elite Force, but I'm not sure if it's like a JG. JG makes really good internal ones and it feels pretty similar externally or it could be like another brand I don't know G36 is that well. Sorry One job, Rob. One. <laughs> if you knew it was broke, why'd you grab it by there? I didn't grab it by there. Maybe just lay the guns down. Up next, we have what I believe is like a Sima or Elite Force AK. Um, this one is a polymer, mostly externally, but it is really nice. It feels really solid. Does not feel like one of those cheap ones. I mean, it's hard to make a cheap AK, to be honest. There's a lot of, unless you're like Crossman or something, but it does feel really solid. Uh, battery does go in the back, and it's got a pretty solid stock on there as well. Foregrip feels awesome. Nice flash hider, and it will come with four high caps because I'm selling this for my friend Ryan. All right, here we have that parts AK. Please, somebody just buy this for me. I will sell this for like 100 bucks. It's got pretty good internals, wood externals. I just don't want to have this broken gun anymore. I'm done with dealing that for those of you that watch this camera video. Um, I just don't need this gun anymore, and it literally will do nothing. But it could provide a nice parts list for somebody else. This is a Javelin AK for those of you that have not watched that scammer video. Up next is a Sima shotgun. This thing is awesome. This is like what all the starter shotguns. You got your little hop and your normal hop, a little wheel. You don't even have anything. You just kind of slide it on there. This is nice. It does feel really good. And it's a really cheap, affordable spring shotgun that I got from me bike in a mystery box that I don't need. All right, gas blowback time. I have two gas blowback rifles. You guys know I do not use a ton. However, I did get this in a trade. This is a Mega Arms Matin 308. This is probably the nicest, heaviest uh, gas blowback rifle I have ever held. It is really, really cool. It will come with two magazines. One of them does need a new feeding lip, but these just came on stock on e-bike for like $6. So you just take out some screws and put it in. But this thing has awesome trades. It looks really, really cool. It feels really, really cool. Breaks down just like a normal gun. Um, it's it's awesome. It's honestly awesome. I don't, it's like got the uh, PTS stock on here as well. This is like the EPS, I believe, PTS grip. 
Um, it's a really nice gun, but I do not use gas blowback rifles because the Midwest sucks for them. All right, up next we have a KDBA LM4 PTR. These are really nice. This is like the standard for gas blowbacks, I think now, um, at least, uh, I guess I don't know. I don't really have a ton of room to talk because I don't know them well, but I know these are nice setups. This is a like new setup. It has had a Maya grip put on there and a Daniel Defense rail, and it has had the older system, so it's a barrel that goes all the way out to here. A little bit awkward, the space in between, but it does shoot really well from the few times that I've shot it. I just, once again, Midwest, GGBRs, mm mm. Bam, boom, bada bop, boom, pow. All right, so we got six pistols here today. Uh, some of you will recognize the ones under this. This is what we're going to finish on. I'm finishing with the heat. You guys know we don't take anything lightly here. Up first, we have a WE High Kappa that has actually been upgraded quite a bit. This is not a stock High Kappa. I don't really know why you would choose a WE platform to upgrade. I would go with TM just for a little bit more, but it does have nicer stuff inside. It has a type 4. It has an upgraded bucking. Um, it has a nicer nozzle system. It does have a shorter trigger as well, and then externally it has some silver parts that have been installed I believe these are all like AW custom potentially I'm not exactly 100% sure as I don't know WE or AW custom pistols that well I'm much more familiar with uh, Tokyo Marie and like the airsoft masterpiece upgraded parts but it will come with one magazine I'm um, just a normal gas black magazine and this is a 4.3 up next we have an AW custom 1911 this thing is a really cool silver 1911 uh, I don't know exactly which model this is I got it in evike mystery box and it shoots really really well and it feels really really cool it's metal it does have some like polymer wood grips but it has the stars and stripes everything i really like this pistol i just don't use anything but high cabas last boy is a springer i will throw this in to whoever buys the most stuff i'll just throw this in your box up next we have another here this is a tokyo Marie hk45 those of you that stayed around at the end of the video are like oh my gosh it's a good thing i did because the first time that i saw this pistol i was like man this is super cool it is a hk45 tactical so it does have the suppressor that threads on here i'll show you guys that real quick and then it does come with three magazines as well this is literally brand new in box i got this in a trade for a uh, Haley strategic chest rig from a dude in Texas. He said he never used it. He just got it and used it as a shelf gun. These are so hard to get in the States. For those of you that do not know, these I did literally had not find any retailers that are selling these. In the States, it's got the full HK45 trades. So this boy, I would assume, will go insanely quick. Good luck if you can get it. Up next, we have one of the coolest pistols I have ever owned. I have finally decided to sell this. This is one of the Desert Eagle 10 inch biohazard limited editions you can just see with the carrying case if you know a pistol is coming in that it is going to be insanely high quality i did this as well as the pistol below it on a video uh just take a minute and look at it man she's so beautiful um i love this gun but i did this in a video earlier uh it was like probably three months ago now the rarest pistols i've ever felt and had this is definitely up there these sometimes are going upwards of like a grand on ebay i'm not expecting to get close to that however i do want a fair deal i'll probably put some sort of price in there around it because i'm not sure what these are worth these have sold on ebay for like 500 ish they've sold for 700 ish i think the ones that were broken even sold for like 300 so i'm not sure exactly what i want on this but obviously go check the description or work with me i am willing to work with people i love this pistol and i want to see this go to a good home it does come with two magazines however this magazine will need a new fill valve up next we have the rarest 1911 that i've ever owned this is an anakatsu 100th anniversary 1911 this thing is full steel it is insanely nice it is oem by cybergun so i think it's in we'll work with like kdbc magazines but this is full steel and literally feels like a real 1911 like i've held multiple 1911s and i picked this up for the first time and i was like yo you sure that's airsoft um, but 100% it is airsoft. It runs off a CO2 magazine and will shoot best with CO2. However, I am including a green gas magazine as well. I think this is like KJW, but it will shoot the best with CO2 and it does shoot really well. It's actually something that's not only just a collector's piece. You could definitely use this. It shot like 100, 150 feet. All right, guys, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it just cut off. So I'm redoing this. I did the video and kind of did a little outro. Um, but this is the Inokatsu 1911, like I said, one of the rarest pistols I've ever got. Um, I did just talk about the mystery boxes. So go down in the description, everything there some of the stuff will fly off the shelves like hotcakes it'll just it'll just happen um, but I appreciate you guys you are the reason I do these videos if I I don't make any money from these videos you guys see I literally make like 70 bucks a month um, but I do this because I love it I love airsoft I love you guys I love being able to do stuff like this I think it's super fun but I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you when you message me about the buys this has been Alec Mac one on one peace out